Okay. So when people talk about magnesium, they're not really talking about pure magnesium. Magnesium is then alloyed into different uh, alloy alloys, basically, essentially, commercial grade alloys. And uh, when you hear, when you talk about magnesium, they're usually talking about the commercial grade alloy and they refer to something, uh, so you'll hear something like AZ91, AM60, uh, ZE41, you know, these kind of uh, terminologies would come in when you're talking about magnesium. So just, uh, I'll cover the three major series of uh, alloys that are currently available in India. And you would have to deal with if you're getting into um, magnesium production at any point or you're interested in magnesium. So, uh, and the, the nomenclature, like how do you recognize what that means, right? So as you can see from this presentation, this is the AZ series where A stands for the highest alloy content in this alloy, right? So A, here's a, on, on the right side, you will see like a chart, uh, like a list of uh, uh, names of the alloy, alloying elements that have been, that can be used in magnesium. And uh, you can use that to decipher what A means, what Z means, right? So that's aluminum and zinc. The nine and the one stand for the highest nine, the first, uh, first, number stands for the percentage of uh, percentage of aluminum, the first element, highest alloy al content element. So that's 9% aluminum and 1% zinc. And C stands for the revision series uh, level. So uh, the alloys are constantly revised and the composition is improved constantly. So whenever uh, we, we are currently at AZ91E, but C is also commercially viable, D is also commercially viable, E is the purest, or like, purest form of that alloy. So that's also viable, but uh, uh, yeah. So that's how you would recognize the alloy names. And F obviously is the temper condition that is there. So AZ series is the most commercially used magnesium alloy in India and globally. And they use for almost every industry, every use case, uh, you would first consider AZ91 and then you would go to the others usually. The second is the aluminum manganese series, which is the AM series. Now this is extensively used in automotive and impact critical use cases. So an example would be helmets or uh, an example would be, uh, you know, uh, steering wheels in cars. These are usually use, used uh, with the uh, AM series because they have very high damping capability. So sh shock absorption, vibration, damping, uh, dent resistant. So these are the ones that uh, this series is what is used for those kind of use cases. And it also has very high elongation. So for alloy wheels, uh, probably one more uh, use case that you can see. The third major series that are used in aluminum, uh, in magnesium uh, globally are the ZE series, which is uh, the rare earth series. So uh, ZE is uh, zinc and uh, E stands for uh, rare earth. Now, these are the reason, the reason that this is, uh, that uh, the reason this alloy is majorly used is because uh, other alloys of magnesium have lower creep resistance, right? So at elevated temperature, uh, they're not great, uh, they, uh, like they're not great uh, materials to be used for engine use cases and things like that. So the ZD series or the uh, rare earth series, there are a bunch of uh, rare earth uh, alloys now, which are used specifically for auto engines, aerospace use cases, which are, uh, which would be subjected to elevated temperature and need to maintain a certain amount of strength even at that elevated temperature. So anywhere between 200 and 350 degrees, also you would get great strength from these alloys. Uh, 